All right, Stalingrad. Nobody requested this. Snoopy said the word, and I was just immediately like, oh, I've got to do, I've got to play Stalingrad. So here we go. So, Kyle, true story. The, the, um... The gift. crazy sub. SF with the gifted yeah. sub. SF, I haven't seen you in forever, buddy. How you been, man? How's life treating you? Um... The, um, the, the Russian national anthem today uses the same music but different lyrics. Same, same music, though. What just happened? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. What is this garbage? The thurber is overloaded. Well, hire more hamsters, then. Madre de Dios. How you been, SF? <laughs> what a mess all right now ooh ooh oh this matchmaking oh ladies and gentlemen this is obscene okay now Stalingrad in an environment like this should be an absolute predator here's the trick it's still a Saipan and the torpedoes will still really hurt me if I allow them to. Um, and there are still a lot of battleships. So I need to be at least moderately cautious here. The Hindenburg can make me very unhappy with my life choices if I position myself badly. What I'm thinking... I wish I was on the A flank. I could be on the A flank. Now, let's move up over here. You crazy son of a bitch. Raging Idiot? I love your name. I love your name. Thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Part of me kind of wants to be on the A flank. I like playing Stalin over there, but I think given the team uh, spawn that we're dealing with, swinging over to play like the, the 8 or 9 line is probably the right call. So let's give that a shot. What's up, Taz? My wife tagged me earlier. She was all like, She's like, Taz seems like a pretty cool dude. I was like, we've met, we've, I was like, we've met him a few times. You just might not remember. I have brain parts oh, it's fine. It's been a while too, right? Like, I think the last time would have been Anchors Away, Texas, right? So that's been literally almost two years. All right, let's see. Uh, is our carrier here? There he is. Finally getting some boats. Finally getting some planes off the deck. Bismarck, Talen, Richelieu. Okay, Groningen's going to go cap mid. That's fine. Okay. All right, I think, I think this is this is not so terrible. What's up, Hoosier? So the trick with Stalingrad is this, right? Stalingrad essentially plays like a battleship, and you kind of have to treat her as one. The difference is, is that her guns have far better dispersion than most battleships you're used to. The other kind of flip side problematic thing you got to learn to deal with is she is spotted from orbit and in a position like this where she's trying to move to catch into to move into position, she can catch a lot of shells. A lot of shells if she's not careful. But her dispersion is stupid. Her guns hit battleships. Like, watch what I'm going to do to this Bismarck. Some of those will be full pens. I did 16k to a broadside Bismarck at over 18 kilometers. Stalingrad's guns are just absolute stupidity. I mean, they're awesome for you, but nobody wants to fight this ship because the guns are just inane. They just make no sense. They do things they absolutely shouldn't. I think that's the Talin. All right, CAG is almost in my range. I'm actually going to swap to the HE here. Another 14K on the Bismarck, by the way. Talin is picking a fight. I'm a little surprised to see it. I just want to reset him. I want to reset him once. Mission accomplished. He backed out of the cap. That was all I was after. Now, the Missouri shells I have to respect if they show up. 
But I can also Citadel that dude. Not right now. See? Look at that. I Citadel to Missouri. It's not that hard. Jackal with the sub. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Yeah, so the guns are just absolute insanity on this ship. When you buy when you buy a Stalingrad, you are basically I'll, I'll I'll say it. You're overpaying for the guns, but what you get is so worth it. Watch what I'm going to do to this Missouri again. I'll Citadel him again too. What do you bet? Yep, another 20k. Disrespect the guns and pay the price. It's literally that simple with this ship. I have such a stupid amount of penetration. Ew, I'm actually lower on health than I thought I was. All right, we're going to... Uh, the Richie is a problem. Let me see if I can knock out his turrets. No, that didn't work out. We need to slow down right here. This Missouri thinks I can't sit at Ellen. I'm about to disabuse him of this notion. Now, I have played too aggressively. I'm probably going to die in this position, which is unfortunate. However... I'm going to do a tremendous amount of havoc. I'm going to I'm going to wreak a tremendous amount of havoc on these guys before I go off the board. See, now this Palmer is in a, is in a pro it has a problem because he's in a position where if he's not careful, I can actually kill him. Observe. So now he has a bigger problem than he thought he did a moment ago. That's all right. So there you go. I have 2.2 in, in less than eight minutes. In less than eight minutes, I have 2.2 million potential damage, 160k, I killed two tier nine battleships and gutted a tier eight one. So, <laughs> what's up, SF? How you doing, buddy? So, yeah. So, honestly, if you're saving up steel, Stalingrad is unquestionably one of the best places that you can invest it and always will be. The guns are insane. Absolutely insane. Again, I was too aggressive there. The ship is more fragile than it used to be because it burns easier now, right? There was a time that you could take the, the fire prevention skills and everything on this ship. You can't do that anymore. So they are easier to kill than they once were, but that does not make them easy targets by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, Rogue, Burgonia is for some people, right? It's not my thing. Oh, I got to change that. I got to change that. My bad, Max. I knew I forgot something during the countdown. I knew I forgot something. I'm sitting here. I went down and fixed myself a drink and got back up. I was like, oh, I need to stop and fix that in the bot. And then didn't. <laughs> because of course I didn't. 
The good news is it's an easy fix. Give me a moment. Come on. No, it's it's not. Yeah, no, Panavius, I'm I mean just I'm telling you, man, you just cannot go wrong with a Stalingrad. You really can't. You really, really cannot. They are just it is a ship that will always have a place in randoms because it just hits like a train and absorbs damage. And they're just oh, they're just so silly fun. They're just silly fun. Alright. Uh, uh time no. Chat commands. Here we go. Uh this one. Okay, there we go. Muldoon should be behaving now. Let's see. Do we get this right? There we go. Yep, Muldoon's got it now. All right. Muldoon has not lost the plot. The good news is the team that went to A cleaned up. This Minotaur had a double strike a minute ago. Take one of these, sir. Agreed, Abyss. But the interesting thing about Stalingrad is, if memory serves, this, the, the, the ship actually, like, this design existed. They laid her down. She was never finished. Now, I think the gun performance might be a little um, enhanced. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. I don't know that the guns... I don't know. Um, 94 maxed out. 94. The small batch is all is uh, homogenized to a 94, a 94 proof. Um, I don't know that the, the guns on Stalingrad were ever actually... Uh, you know, built and proofed and tested and everything so that we know this is what their performance would have looked like. Hindi should feel that. Yep. I took a 10k on the broadside. Is he gonna catch any of these Harlem bombs? No, nope, they're all gonna fall in front of him. He might swallow some Lex bombs, though. Yeah, he's gonna swallow some of these. Oh, second Harlem strike's gonna hit him. Plus, plus the Lex bombs. Lexington seals the deal. There you go. There you go. To Lynn, trying to cap, getting an, getting assassinated. This Oodaloy hung out by the, on this flank by himself for a while and survived longer than I expected him to. I will say their Saipan feels largely ineffective. I got, it doesn't feel like he accomplished as much as I expected, that I thought as I thought he might. He did come after me. He never landed a single torpedo. He might have gotten a couple of rockets. The bombs would have hurt if he brought those in. I think they might shatter on my deck, but just the fires alone would have hurt. Were they Hodge? Okay, good. Yeah, I, I don't. I just I don't know the history of the of that particular ship. I just know her history in World of Warships, and it's silly. <laughs> Abyss, you talking about this one they announced this week, right? Or the one they were talking about on stream this week? Yeah. So I haven't watched the stream. I don't exactly know what they talked about. I was going to take one in the belt. That's not so terrible. Um. I don't know what they talked about. I mean, Puerto Rico is the super Alaska. Alaska was the only real super cruiser design the USN actually, like, you know, built. So I don't have any idea where they're going with this. If memory serves, what I read was it was going to be like Des Moines guns or something. Is that what it was? Oh, Hetman, that's genius. Hetman, that's genius. I love it. I love everything about that. There you go, Panavis. There you go. HMS Warpite. So either this is a this dude has a lisp or we just missed something. I believe he overled the Saipan. It might not matter anyway. No. You gotta remember, guys, Saipan's built on a Baltimore hull. So she's a little stealthy, but she doesn't really hold up well under fire. And when I say a little stealthy, I do mean just a little. 
I like the idea of a four turret Des Moines, but the ship has to have some pretty significant drawbacks for that to work. So I'm going to be very curious. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the Missouri wiping him out. There it was. So again, a game I didn't live, but I was certainly impactful. Again, I mean, just just look at how quickly Stalingrad's guns can rack up damage. It's utter lunacy. She is, the guns are just stupidly good. There we go. Random Stalingrad game. Why? Felt like it. <laughs> no reason. No reason. I already comp the minnow. He had a good game. Asashio had a good game. Take one of these. I don't know, Kyle. I don't know where they're going with this idea. Um, at the same time, I don't know. I don't know the American, you know, designs inside and out, right? There were a lot of things put to paper that were never feasible, that were always some naval architect's, you know, fever dream that obviously never got funded or laid down. So who knows?